Hello coders, Darren here, continuing the enemy designer tool tutorial series. Today we're going to be dealing with the object field, which is probably one of the more complex, not really complicated uh, fields for editor scripts. So let's go ahead and open our script so we can continue working on that. And I'm going to place this field at the top. I want this to be the first field that the user sees. And we're going to change the name to prefab. Now this object field is going to be a game object that needs to represent the model or a copy of the prefab that the character is going to be. So we want to say character data dot prefab is going to be equal to this and we will pass character data dot prefab and instead of float field we'll pass or we'll use the function object field now object field has some different parameters the first one will be the prefab character data dot prefab the second one will be the type of object because object can really represent anything it could be a game object it could be transform it could even be a type of script so it could be a component uh, so we want to specify type of game object and then what we need to do is specify whether we want to allow the user to drop scene objects or only prefabs in and for our purpose we want to make sure that they can only use prefabs so when we say false this means that they can't drag objects from the scene and place them in this field and I'll give you guys an example of that a little bit later now let's go ahead and open up unity to see if this actually works okay and it looks like we're missing a cast so we'll go back to our script and one thing I forgot to do was to cast the entire function call into game object and so whatever our type of is right here for our second parameter that needs to be what we end up putting right here okay so let's open up unity one more time and now since I ran into an error I have to open up my editor windows all over again so that's something you'll run into frequently and now we see our prefab field here our game object field and now I want to talk about the allow scene objects parameter which we set to false so here we have a game object which is main camera and it's not going to let me drop this in however if I make main camera a prefab so I'll drop that in my prefabs folder I can actually now dra drag that in to my prefab slot and so that's what allow scene objects actually does for us Okay, and that's all there is for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.